Next in line, we have the awesome inspiration of the year, everyday people who have led from the front with their courage and conviction. We have the most exalted list of social media influencers in this category, including the lights of Meghnad, Nikhil Bawa, Dhruv Rati, Deeb, Rupa, Mugdil, and Pratik Sinha, who have all worked in various spaces with equal passion and devotion, inspiring thousands of their followers. Can I please call on stage the very lovely Monica Badra, and leading activist and entrepreneur and one of the leading liberal faces on social media, Tessin Punawala, on stage to give away this award, please. Monica's not here. She's not here? Okay, no problem. Do you mind doing the job solo? Okay, all right, no problem. All right. He does not take sides, he does not care for consequences, he finds the truth and serves the truth. And if he's almost sounding like a superhero, well, a superhero he is. Pratik Sinha, the man behind Alt News, the fake news busting site, and the winner of the awesome inspiration of the year. Thank you. Can we get one more mic, please? Is that heavy? Is that heavy? Yeah, a little heavy. Excuse me. Do you want to help him? He's already That's doing. A, okay. He's already shouldering a, shouldering a lot of responsibility. So, Pratik, here's my question to you. You know, every time I give a speech, I I always say this: Ki jo majuda hukumat hai. मतलब हम जो इतिहास पढ़ते हैं वो यू रीड रोमन हिस्ट्री मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री एंशंट हिस्ट्री राजकुमार डिड बोस एकता कपूर मेक्स हिस्ट्री बट ये जो मौजूदा हुकूमत है ये व्हाट्सएप हिस्ट्री पढ़ती है मतलब इनका व्हाट्सएप हिस्ट्री शुरू होता है बाबर से खत्म होता है हर्ष मंदर जी पर ये अपने इतिहास खुद बनाते हैं हाउ इज डिफिकल्ट इज इट इन दिस डे एंड एज टू एक्सपोज दिस स्पेशली विद द व्हाट्सएप रूमर्स दैट हैव स्टार्टेड एंड द व्हाट्सएप हिस्ट्री दैट हैज स्टार्टेड It's not difficult, actually. I mean, uh, if you know the, doesn't take much to expose the kind of fake news that misinformation, disinformation that is actually, uh, you know, pervading an Indian social media ecosystem is not that complicated as it is in other countries. Uh, but it's just the fact that you know, um, digital literacy is something that you know we lack as a country, which which makes it very difficult because people tend to believe anything and everything that comes on WhatsApp. So in this era where you have a lot of pressure on mainstream media, and you of course have, um, I have examples like Outlook, which is standing out and fighting, and and are examples of how media should behave. But you have a lot of examples of other media that have cowed down to the government or to those in power in various states and have uh, surrendered. Does Alt News, as an organization, face any pressures? Do you feel that that there is certain amount of uh, a, a pressure to tarnish your image? Do you feel any other sort of pressure? Well, uh, there have been people who have been critical of us and accusing us of being biased and things like that. But no, no, no pressure as such. Yeah. No pressure. Okay, and one last question for you. So, what do you feel when the government came out with a notification on fake news? Because that was funny. Because some of those who peddle fake news are in the government. But what did you feel about that? They missed the elephant in the room. Essentially, you know, they were trying to target the mainstream media, and you know, with the elections coming up, I believe it was sort of they were trying to stifle the mainstream media. Mainstream media has its own issues, but here, you know, the elephant in the room was, you know, the misinformation, disinformation on social media, and which they completely missed, and they tried to go for the journalists instead. So now they come for you? I don't think so. So, anyways, Pratik, may your tribe increase. Lots of power to you, and thank you, Outlook. Thank you.